Hey guys, welcome back down to Misfit Toy Collectors. Dreadnought Ryan here. Yojo June is not letting us down. We did get to see what the worst kept secret is for a HasLab. Uh, it's a G.I. Joe classified Dragonfly XH1. I know probably many of you have seen other folks doing reviews on this, getting their feedback on it. Of course, you probably watched the live stream. Uh, so I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Just some of the observations that I picked up from it. Um, and then just... How excited are you guys for this? How do you think that the pricing looks? Um, you know, what could have made it better, I guess, is it really what I'm kind of trying to find out. Um, looks like so far that this item is funding super fast, um, almost as fast as what the His Tank did. Um, but let's go, go ahead and get started. Um, the grayscale model, the size of this particular vehicle, all of the base accessories and items that it comes with is absolutely amazing. Just seeing the grayscale model next to Enli and Lenny just shows you the sheer size of it, as well as what some of the features that will come with this particular uh, HasLab product. I do like the fact that it will come with a decal sheet um, so that you can personalize your Dragonfly the way that you want it. I do also appreciate that it comes with a number of different weapons loadouts, but also I love that neon green um, heads up display or control panels that you see for uh, the, the Dragonfly. I think that's just an awesome uh, addition as well as some of the landing lights too. Um, looking at the weapons loadout, it, it has a feel of a mix between, of course, the original um, Cobra uh, from the Vietnam era, as well as the Apache helicopter. Um, you do get the Stinger or the Sidewinder missiles, as well as the rocket pods. Um, it does come with the uh, large cannon that the um, Dragonfly came with. I'm not sure what uh, millimeter shell that it takes. Um, it also kept the chin gun, but it added a couple extra uh, machine guns on the side of the cockpit for uh, this particular dragonfly. So um, this Joe vehicle is definitely loaded out to take on the hiss. Um, and it looks just really cool with what the HasLab team as well as the Joe team have been able to provide to collectors. With Wild Bill, I do like the fact that it they have created a buck in a pilot um, suit. Um, like the G-suit type of uh, pilot suit. So um, I hope this means we'll get to see uh, more of the pilot figures, whether it's a slipstream, an ace, um, as, as well as more of the parachute figures too. Uh, crazy legs, footloose, um, you name it. Uh, just seeing some of the other pilots that we could bring in, I think is awesome. I do also like the fact that they have the swap out hair piece with hat um, so that the uh, the hat wasn't too big. Um, and of course, with the sunglasses, with what they were able to do with Sergeant Slaughter, I hope they're able to do that as well with Wild Bill, because he does have to have that those sunglasses as well as his air cal cavalry hat. Um, I also think it's awesome they included the six shooters and the gun belt um, and also having cowboy boots. It's a really good render of Wild Bill, and I can't wait to see what he looks like with the production models. I hope he uh, turns out to match up to what we're seeing um, so that uh, it, it matches up and uh, we're not, you know, I don't want to say disappointed, but um, that he looks like what the renders are. And then the tier one lock is, of course, Night Force um, Ripcord, which I think is a great addition. I do love the pilot helmet. And again, with the oxygen mask, this has to mean we'll see some of these pilots at some point uh, with their G suit um, and the web gear that you see here. And again, this is a night force, so that means that we must will be able to see Ripcord in the main line at some point. Um, but I think what a great addition uh, to fill another void on the shelf. And that also should mean that Airborne should also hopefully come in the main line and not be uh, set behind the paywall for uh, this particular uh, HasLab. I can also see us getting some different uh, style Wild Bills and maybe some different deco, um, maybe a Sunbow style Wild Bill uh, using the same molding, but just in some different colors. And again, with uh, the Night Force Ripcord, it is he will unlock at 13,000 uh, orders. And then they also have two other figures, which uh, apparently if 
I understood correctly, will be new to the line. Uh, one for 16,000 order unlock, and then the other for 19,000 order unlock. Um, so it is a little bit scaled back from what we did receive for the Hiss, um, but the item is $25 cheaper and it is a lot bigger. Uh, so again, I'm hoping that Hasbro has figured out that sweet spot of giving the collectors the quality item that we expect um, while delivering on the additions to that for a, you know, this is a collector item. This isn't like a mass produce uh, retail item, um, but still giving you some nice unlocks for figures. I'm hoping that these are a troop builder type of figure so that again, not a mainline figure is behind a paywall. So this brings us to the fact, okay, so we're rolling into 2024. And for any of you who have backed the HasLab for the Dragonfly, who's going to win? Is it the Hiss Tank? Is it the Robo Skull? Or could it be the Dragonfly? I think as six-inch collectors, we are looking at some amazing product um, that will be coming out within uh, the next two years. Um, who would have thought that we'd see the giant flaming red skull? We would get a six-inch classified G.I. Joe Dragonfly or even a Hiss Tank. Um, it is a great time to be a collector. Um, and more importantly, it's a great time to be on the Island of Misfit Toys collector. You guys are absolutely amazing. Um, and of course, after Joe Fest, I will be doing uh, a show or a review on the new O-ring um, figures and some of the companies that have uh, created some of these amazing products, uh, whether it's Delta 17, whether it's the amazing Carson Metaxas and the craziness that he brings with Operation Recall, uh, or even the fact that we now have Legends of the Hidden Force, and of course, our good friends over at Grindstone uh, Toys with everything they're doing uh, for Call Sign Longbow. Um, again, like I just said, it's a great time to be a collector. If you like six inch scale, you have G.I. Joe Classified, Marvel Legends, you also have Star Wars, uh, you have a number of other companies that are making six inch figures. If you are a four inch collector, G uh, Joy Toy is making some amazing G.I. Joe figures, but then you also have Marauders who looks like they're going to have some pretty amazing uh, figures at Joe Fest to pick up. Um, and then, of course, if you're an O-ring collector, it's about time that you guys are seeing some of those figures and you have creators who have been fans of this particular style of figure for a very long time that are creating new worlds um, and new opportunities to grow the ranks. So uh, be on the lookout for that show again. And then also just a reminder, Cobra Convergent 7 starts at the beginning of July. So we'll have a couple videos out for that as well, too. I hope you guys are having a great day, night, or morning, wherever you're at on the Island of Misfit Toy Collectors. But more importantly, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you amazing folks. And again, what are your thoughts on this particular HasLab? I'll talk to you soon.